What's up guys, Barry Game here, back with some more AFK Journey, and today we're going to be going over the tier list, kind of as far as how the heroes are performing on the beta servers, the PTR servers, the beta test journey servers, the voyage, whatever you want to call it. You guys know the voyage test was going on this week, there's been a lot of really fun content to play, and even on the PTR, which is kind of like the earlier version of the game, it's been a blast, but... You guys got to know who the best heroes are so you know if you either number one need to re-roll your account if that's the type of player you are or number two what heroes to even use because some of them might sound good in description wise but fail to be super impactful so we're going to go over some of the best heroes in the game we're going to go over some of the worst ones in the game i'm going to try to do this uh basically in an order from s tiers down to food tier that way you guys can kind of like if you guys are really interested in just do the best heroes are you can listen to me in the beginning and know that anything in c and d tier kind of unusable hopefully you guys enjoy this one hit that subscribe button because we're going to be having a ton of afk journey content you're coming your way let's get going <laughs> okay so let's get going with these heroes we're gonna start with a couple support heroes that end up being some of the meta heroes in the game the first one if you guys have played afk arena you know him very well rowan rowan feeds a ridiculous amount of energy to your team he's a pure support hero he doesn't really do much damage although he can do damage sometimes uh he's there for support He's there to feed energy to everybody. Placing your heroes properly around him is very important because he also heals within two tiles with potions from his uh, from his little cart that he pushes around. Very good support hero. Kind of a must-have hero. Um, really on any account. Helps with boss battles, all these different things. The only other pure kind of like healer buffer we are going to talk about in this tier right here. Where is he? There he is, Smokey. I always just call him Smokey, but his name is Smokey and Murky. Uh, because the little guy on his shoulder, I think, is Murky up there. So he's an interesting one. Not as flexible, but if you know where the combat is going to be on the battlefield, he can be amazing. He puts this circular yellow ring at his feet. Uh, but he won't move from that spot the entire battle. It buffs uh, allies' attack. It also heals them. And then when he uses his ultimate, it really pumps out some heals per second in that ring. But again, they have to be like right in that ring, which makes it a little difficult to get some flexibility. It depends on the map layout. But again, very, very good. And the third one we're going to talk about, I, I kind of forgot to mention it. Uh, or rather, I forgot to say it in the beginning. Heywin, I believe it is. So Heywin is legit a pure healer type hero. Uh, her ultimate literally will just chain heal, like just heal everybody constantly. Even her basics and everything just remove some debuffs, get some good healing in. She is absolutely amazing and really, really good. Uh, the only other one that I'd kind of put in the, the kind of like support row, but he also doubles as a tank. I just got to find him in the list here. Where are you, my man, Lucius? So Lucius is amazing. Again, another hero from AFK Arena that transitioned very well into this game and is extremely powerful. The bonus is he's just, I think what they call an A-tier hero. So the first three we showed you are S-tier. They're much more rare to get your hands on, but he's, I believe, what you call an A-tier. Uh, but Lucius is amazing. He can tank damage. He has an ultimate skill that both heals and shields allies. I think there's also, yeah, he, he grants other allies shields. He knocks enemies down. Uh, he reduces their attack. He's amazing. So he kind of doubles as a tank slash support healer. Uh, it's a very unique role. The only other one that I would consider similar to that out of everybody that we're going to be putting in this top tier is Granny De De Denis. I, I, don't, I don't even know how to say it. I grabbed the wrong one. Hold on. Uh, Granny Denis, there we go, right there. She, um, she's very, very strong. She does similar thing where she will essentially use her ultimate skill, root everybody down. She's immune to control, and then she also heals herself. She's basically absorbing HP from the enemies. Very strong tank, very good healing. Speaking of very good tanking and very good healing, oh, probably one of the best tanks in the entire game, Thorin. And the main reason is. He can heal himself. He also revives. So the first time he dies, he will revive into battle. And his ultimate skill, yeah, he channels it. 
uh he he he's just it's he's so good he he restores hp based on everything the fact that he revives is probably one of the best things because it gives you a double life like if the enemy front line is going to do a ridiculous amount of damage to you right away he's very good at kind of mitigating that and then like oh yeah no we're pretty good and he also absorbs damage for some of his allies too which is really really cool there is one more tank pure tank on this tier right here so the other one i wanted to talk about is antandra so she's a mauler but she's really really strong she knocks down and stuns enemies in a aoe around her she reduces their attack she can aid an ally she can also shield herself and one of her allies that are nearby very very strong tankiness with her as well very good hero uh and just overall extremely extremely the only other one we're gonna put on this list is kind of i feel like one of the i guess you say one of the fan favorites is brutus so brutus again he is a warrior however he does double as a tank very well because the first time he's about to take a fatal blow he goes invincible his ultimate skill is a giant whirlwind uh he just has some really good life drain on top of that he just does so many great things he taunts enemies as well which kind of doubles is like why he doubles as like a tank flash damage dealer uh but he's kind of the only s tier that is qualified as damage dealer one of the main reasons why is your celestials and hypogens which we're not putting on this list are a lot of times are great great damage dealers for your team so focusing on the tank and support side of things with your s tier heroes that you really want to go for is usually one of the best strategies now that doesn't mean there's no s tier damage dealers and it's going to be really weird but we're actually going to put Odie up here Yes, he is. He's he's the he's an epic. He's he's a purple, uh, an A tier, whatever you want to call them. He is a lower tier hero, uh, but he does some absolutely insane single target damage. He also poisons enemies. Uh, but if you are looking for a damage dealer on your team, he's like almost by far one of the best heroes to have on your squad. Uh, but again, he's kind of like a pure damage dealer, whereas the last hero that we're going to be putting up into the S tier right here, she is amazing. She is an S tier. Her name is Cecia. It's an interesting one, but she's really unique because she is a ranged unit. So she fires arrows essentially from afar with her harp, but she summons this big old behemoth to go alongside her. That is amazing because when she uses her ultimate, she summons it, it twines everybody, deals some damage over time, and then he just starts cleaving the enemies. And he always gets summoned pretty much in the back row of the enemy formation, which is really important because Odie is another one. He struggles with that. He has to attack what's right in front of him, where Cessia does a really good job, does her summon in the back row, and it's just super, super strong. Beyond that, if the summon is still there and she uses her ultimate a second time, it heals it to full, and it does another round of AoE damage. She is absolutely amazing. Probably one of the best damage dealers for campaign and everything else that you could possibly look for. A little harder to get her, but extremely powerful. So the next grouping of heroes are going to be dropping down to the A tier. Again, if you can't see everything on screen here, I'm going to have to take an image file of this and put it in the description so you can just open up the image file later on to see the entire tier list. Uh, but yeah, essentially, these heroes are going to be some of the good assassin heroes to start out. We're going to start with Igor. Igor is really interesting. Uh, if you've ever fought against him, you'll see a bunch of graves kind of popping up all over the, the battlefield. He's technically a warrior, which is weird. I thought he'd be assassin. But he is very hard to track down and keep like get a hold of if you have a very melee heavy team if you have a ranged team it's a little easier but it'll basically jump from tombstone to tombstone giving him great flexibility and maneuverability uh he does a lot of damage that way too and he's just a really really strong hero when it comes to leaping all over the battlefield uh, another one that we're gonna put up into this list right here shakir i really like shakir as an assassin i think he is very very strong he has this wolf form uh, he leaps to the backline enemies. He has pretty good life drain on top of that. Like he's a really good flexible hero. He could just be sent off to the back line and you kind of don't have to worry about him killing himself. He does a really good job with uh, like sustainability and everything, which is why I typically like running him, especially in the special game modes that are out there that are. Uh, so it's just he's very hard to lock down because 
of the fact that he can heal so so much it's a ton of healing and it's just really really good the next one we're gonna go to a ranged unit here Laika. so Laika's is kind of like one of the faces i feel like of afk journey she has some amazing single target damage she has an ultimate that hits aoe she's extremely strong i really 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 like this hero and she is extremely extremely flexible um she is, of course, an easier hero to get as well, which is a nice little benefit. You don't have to worry about her being like a difficult hero to get. It's pretty simple and pretty straightforward. So those are kind of like the A tiers. The only other one I would consider bumping up into A tier. Oh, man, I don't even know if I have the image file here either. Uh Oh, I'm going to have to add a couple more images. Uh Oh, no, wait, we have we have one of them here. She's absolutely amazing at dealing damage. So yes, Vala, very, very good. I had to add this one. Viperion is another one that is really, really strong. A good damage dealer can keep your team going. Uh, again, just really, really solid hero overall. Haven't heard many complaints. He is one of the newer heroes on the beta and such. So keep that in mind. Uh, but yeah, I think that kind of rounds up the A tier. Next up, we're going to briefly talk about some B tier. And then everything below that, we're going to kind of just skip over. So first up on this B tier, we're going to add Carolina here. She's a really cool hero because if you're looking for someone to do some crowd control, she's really, really strong. She does a nice little AOE freeze effect, slows enemies down and such. Very, very strong. Uh, next up after that, we have Velen. Velen is one of the heroes you basically just start with. He has some pretty cool abilities, good damage dealer, solid damage dealer. Uh, when he does use his ultimate, he goes invulnerable, which is really, really cool. So not too bad. Uh, next up, we have Ella. Ella is a caster hero. Uh, she also has a pushback type ability on her ultimate, which is kind of cool for, you know, some more control and stuff that we were talking about previously. Uh, she is pretty solid overall. Uh, the next one, kind of similar, but with Fire Morel, I believe it's pronounced. Uh, she's a fire damage dealer, has a very similar ultimate skill, except it does a lot of damage and is very, very strong. Definitely a hero to keep in mind if you're just looking for nice AoE damage as well. Another hero we want to put on this tier right here, if my eyes can find him, might not be on here either because, again, he is a newer hero. Right back. So here he is. He is Brian. Uh, he's another one that's kind of cool. He summons, a, I think it's like a bird essentially, right? Is, is it a bird? I can't remember. It basically goes uh, to the current target and flies alongside. Uh, really good summon damage and stuff because he summons like these leaves to go around and everything. Uh, he absorbs energy from enemies as well. So it's really, really cool. Uh, the only one I think a lot of tier lists get wrong I do want to mention before we move on to the lower tiers, uh, I really want to talk about him because Seth is interesting. Seth is a lot like Shakir that we've talked about before, uh, but he's he's a little weaker because he doesn't have that lifesteal. As far as damage potential goes, I think it's technically higher than Shakir, but it really depends on the team that you have built around them. Uh, besides that, though, most of these other heroes are going to go into lower tiers here. Uh, even some of the newer heroes, uh, I, I'm not a fan of them. They basically run around on the battlefield aimlessly hitting stuff. It's hard to control what they're doing. Uh, I'm not particularly a fan of how they act, so that's why sometimes I put them in a lower tier here. And I'm going to finish up the rest of this list, post it for you guys, let you guys make your kind of, uh, your kind of, I guess you'll say suggestions to other players on whether you think they should have been in a higher tier, a lower tier. A lot of these heroes are just kind of more on the food tier and aren't really worth using. Um, some of them, can be decent other ones uh not so great so keep that in mind when you're building up your team here they some of them can be really strong other ones cannot and if you want to see the full final list check the link in the description down below so if you have any questions hit me up in the comment down below we'll be making some highlight videos with a lot of these heroes that we have in game to show you guys exactly why they are so powerful leave a comment down below hopefully you guys enjoy this one hit that thumbs up be ready for a bunch of afk journey content and i'll see you guys next time